So what happened here is that in the end of 2016, a guy comes in here and he... What is happening? He went inside the church and he it was a suicide man and he decided to, to kill himself. I'm a victim, you know, that I have lost my mother and my sister. And I know a lot of people of them and a lot of people of the victims. He took from me a lot. And actually, in the moment I thought that he took from me everything in his life, everything that had a meaning. I was serving the God and I was always in the church and with my people and with my friends. Even if I believe that he is a real God, I didn't believe that he is a living God. After the accident, it's only the moment I felt that he is a living God. He hears what I say. I couldn't understand it except after the accident. Yeah. And actually, I felt how good is he and how he is trying by every way and every mean to fix what happened to my heart. Yeah. Even the Muslims here. They felt our pain. How many Muslims people were around me in the hospital to be totally honest. Oh, okay. yeah. So actually, these holes are, are uh, from the bombing because the man who uh, was with the bomb, he put in the pot uh, something like metallic bolts. So in the metallic, uh, in the, uh, these metallic bolts acted actually like bullets that went uh, uh, around all the church. This is from your church. This is my church, actually. Actually, and these are like personal items for each week victim. Yeah, yeah, and was actually in the accident too. Oh, okay. Yeah, like here, this is my mother, and actually you can see the bullets inside her bag and inside. And this is my sister. She's very beautiful. And actually, there were a dream uh, was recorded, like a voice, a WhatsApp voice message from my, uh, my sister to my mother, telling her about a dream that she saw my mother uh, die first, and Jesus were calling her name mm -hmm. to cross to her, and she didn't know what to do, but she finally crossed to them. After the accident, I was carrying her, and I was keep telling her, Brina, keep with me. Mm -hmm. She's she was saying yes. And then looking in another way and keep calling the name of Jesus. And this is all I knew is that she saw what she saw in the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I knew after the accident that he only wants my love. Mm. Because he loves me back. Yeah. No, actually, I love him back. Yeah. He loved us first. <laughs> yes. That's why we love him. And that's how I felt. I, 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 I felt like I met him yeah. after the accident. I want all the people to experience how good is he mm. and how good Jesus is. Yeah. That's it. Amazing. <laughs> to be honest, uh, like, if I, if I experienced that um, alone without Jesus, I think uh, I would do two things out of them, not out of them. I think I will be g go mad mm. or I will make a suicide. Mm. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> It's really amazing to hear all this and to feel your heart and thank you. Yeah. I just hope that you will all still pray for me. Yeah, we will. <laughs> yeah, we will. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.